What's going on Port fans? Welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to review Port Adelaide versus Geelong. Round 9 is done and dusted and guess what? We won at the Cattery. I, I'm in shock. I'm still in disbelief. Um, absolutely buzzing. It is unbelievable that we got this job done. Um, it's... Yeah, I'm bamboozled. I don't know how to put it, this uh, review into words. Um, there's obviously a lot to get through so we'll just get straight into it but... Port have beaten Geelong in Geelong for the first time since 2007. The curse is broken. We finally won down there. And we did it on the biggest stage in the world, Friday Night Footy. Boy, oh boy. It's been a whirlwind week. And to come in and just play a performance like that. Now, I know we'll, we'll get into the, the, the scoreline and everything in a second. But to put in a performance like that. Yeah, away from home, on the big stage, the pressure on us, the question marks everywhere. For us to come in and start that first quarter in the way we did and kick eight goals two after kicking five goals 18 last week is a statement in itself. To finish the game in the positives in terms of 15 goals 11 is a positive and a massive thing for us in terms of confidence. Uh, to beat Geelong in Geelong after they've just come off a big loss to the Ds, um, a shock loss, and to come down there in Tom Hawkins' game, uh, where he equals the game's record, he, yeah, it's it's pretty surreal. Um, and, you know, that's full credit to Ken, to full credit to the boys, <laughs> full credit to, um, you know, the commitment of the players and, and the staff and everyone making this a joint effort. The tactical master, masterclass that was done in that first half by Port was exquisite and executed every single plan perfectly. Uh, the second half, we'll get to in a second, but obviously everything fell away, and Chris Scott, the great coach that he is, fought Geelong back into that one, and the mentality of Geelong at Geelong, and everything sort of filtered their way back in, and we crumbled a little bit um, there towards the end. But I just want to state that this performance, in terms of our season, it, it you know, I don't even think it means you know all that much in terms of you know, win-loss ratio. We were coming into this with no expectation to win. We were expecting, I think every Port fan expected to lose. Five and four coming out of this one. You just reset. You get a couple of games against easier opposition. No, no, nothing's guaranteed, but you just take it as it comes and you go from there. But for us to go down there, play a performance like that, gritty in the second half, find a way, make a, make a statement. You know, Rioli kicking four goals. Horn Francis was one of the best on ground. Ollie Wines... Unbelievable. Butters as captain with Rosie out. Exceptional. Alir comes back in and makes a great performance. Asava against his old club comes back, uh, goes down back, plays a great role on Tom Hawkins, keeps him to a goal, I think. You know, it's just these little things that added up, and that's what uh, I think made this win so, so special. And the great thing about this win as well is I was reading the comments. I do it every week, you know, reading comments on social media and stuff like that. You had your people that were stating shit and nonsense, but majority of the comments and the majority of the conversations that I saw was all positive. Like, it was all coming out. We've just beaten Geelong and Geelong. It doesn't matter that we were 49 points up and then ended up winning by a goal. It, that, I don't think that takes anything away. In fact, I think that makes the win even more sweeter because you knew Geelong were going to come. You knew Geelong were going to come back into the game. How much they were going to come back in, it was a question mark in itself. But for us to hold on in such a way with everything going um, you know, against us in, in terms of the momentum and I think a few umpiring decisions weren't great, but it was definitely over-umpired in the second half compared to the first half. And I've seen Chris, Cost, uh, Chris Scott's comments and you know, whilst um, it's always fun to, to see a, a losing coach make those comments about umpires, you know, there's, there's certain aspects of it where you know, we've got to be better in that instance, but that's besides the point. The fact that we came away from this game with a win, and you know, then we sit six and three, and we've beaten a team in the top four at the current stage, away from home on the big stage, testing our mental capabilities. That's a that's for me. That's the positive. That's what I take away most from this is the fact that we did the job. We made a statement on Friday night, and it's just so impressive. So well done, Port Adelaide. The second half was. Well, it was less enjoyable. Even even when I was sitting there, I was sitting there with Hutter, I watched the game with Jack Hudson. Um, even I was sitting there and 49 points up, I sat there and thought, far out, we could lose this. 
there is this that I feel I feel sick. You know, there's so much time. Time was ticking down so slowly and you know, got to halfway through the third quarter, we're still that six goal margin and I was like, okay, we're still holding here, we're holding firm and then they got a quick run on and came back within three goals because of a stupid mistake from Bro Rioli and you know, a, a defence sort of crumbling and being under pressure. That, you know, started to filter in, I started to feel <laughs> pretty much claustrophobic. And when Georgia Adams kicked that goal late in the in the last quarter and put us back without uh, to within four goals, I think it was twenty three points at that stage, and you know they they started to come again. They kicked another, they kicked another, got within two goals. Time started to tick down a little bit quicker. Got to the point where that uh, Ollie Henry miss occurred and it was within within a goal, and finally that siren went. And the relief, the the, the relief that I had, it's a special win. It's a really special win. And I've been critical of Port Adelaide all week. Um, I've been really pessimistic, and that's not me. You know, I felt not myself because of this and because of the showdown loss last week. And I was like, you know, I'm, 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 you know very much was uh, on the Ken Hinckley should be sacked train and for the week. And I think now I'm, you know, I know his tenure, I think, is towards the end of it now, but. Yeah, it's wins like that that still gives him credibility, in my opinion. And I'm not going to shy away from the fact that he's done nothing for 12 years. That's a guaranteed fact. But you isolate the win like tonight and uh, like last night, sorry. And it's pretty special, in my opinion. Um, despite the fact that we were 49 points up and you know and they came back within a goal. But I think if that's at the MCG, that doesn't happen. If that's at the LA Lobo, it doesn't happen because it was down in Geelong. Um, you know, there's a special kind of momentum that they get down there. So um, I'm forgiving that and I'm taking this as a special win. And, you know, it's the small things as well. Like I mentioned role, like the roles that certain players play in the big games that they play. Like I look at th players like um, Jed McEntee, who has been criticised and ridiculed by play, uh, by people and, and fans and everyone, comes in, does a job, job on Tom Stewart, does a fantastic job. Players like Jackson Mead who come in, he's great in the midfield. You know, no Rosie, so he has to step up and he does really, really well. Ryan Burton playing his 100th game for Port Adelaide and, and does a great job down back. You know, it's just these small things. I thought Zerk Thatcher was brilliant as well. His intercept marking has really gone to another level. You know, I just... It's these little things that add up in, in moments and, and in wins like this. And this galvanises the group. And I think this takes us um, back into the conversation. You know, this this is the type of win that you go, right, you right off the showdown, we were terrible in front of goal, should have won that game. And you come back into, you know, this game, and you go, wow, we were beating Geelong in Geelong, away from home, like backs against the wall, pressure on us, a tough week, and we did the job. That's just, just for me, the really impressive fact, and I'll keep repeating that, because it's just awesome to see, and I'm on cloud nine, man. I don't know about you, Port fans, but I'm just on cloud nine. I'm very, very happy with the result. Um, it's been a special, special day, and um, what a way to kick off your kick, kick, uh, uh, mm, kick off your weekend, eh? Now we're going to nine-day break and don't play Hawthorne until Sunday afternoon next week. All is well again. Thank you, Paul fans, for watching this review. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts about this game and what you felt throughout it all, and who impressed you the most. Very much keen for next week. It's, it's uh, Indigenous round uh, as well, so we'll be known as Yada Pulti next week too. So keep an eye out for that. But uh, overall. A fantastic night uh, for Port Adelaide. Actually, before I go, now you're sitting there going, right, there's one person you're missing you haven't commented on. Dante Vizantini. Dante's peak. He was at peak performance last night against Stanley. He subbed out Reece Stanley. That's how well he went. And I thought he was brilliant. And I'd give, I'd give him another go next week. I don't care if Sweet's illness is feeling better. I don't care if Soldo miraculously comes back from his knee. Vince Vizantini gets a job next week. Um, and... I'm really, really hoping to see him keeps on impressing because he was awesome and his fight, his chasing, his his second, third efforts, his um, you know, groundwork was brilliant. Well done, Dante. Beautiful stuff. That's it now. That's I think I've covered everything. So thank you very much for watching, Port fans. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port Adelaide and AFL content to come your way. My name's Anthony and as always, on the pair.